Oh, dark, dark amid the blaze of noon, irrecoverably dark, without all hope of day. John Milton, the poet, saw an eclipse 300 years ago. Eclipse is beginning, folks. Yeah. Wow. That was how things looked over much of America today, an eerie, unearthly dusk at midday. The moon had come between the earth and the sun, an annular eclipse. During an annular eclipse, the moon is too far away from the Earth to completely cover the sun. It looks a little smaller than the sun, so during the middle of the eclipse, there's a ring of sunlight which surrounds the moon. There was at least a partial eclipse visible for three hours over the whole country and maximum eclipse across a narrow band from the southwest to Maine. Eclipses used to terrify our ancestors. Now they're just fascinating. It makes you wonder about everything, about how the universe works, and it's really cool to notice something like this because it doesn't come on very often. You can almost see the bumps on the moon. Oh, yeah, look at this. So a lot of people took lunch outdoors today. The orange part is the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. There's your contact right there. Nice image. You couldn't look right at the sun without damaging your eyes, so people use special lenses or telescopes or reflectors. Looks like a... Orange moon. Orange moon. Mm. Wow. So take a good look. The next annular eclipse won't be till May 20th, 2012. That's predictable. What's also predictable is that a lot of Americans will be walking around tonight with cricks in their necks. The moon. Richard Threlkeld, CBS News, New York.